Good morning, friends, and welcome to our homestead. Today, I want to talk about four big reasons why we installed our own solar system and why I think you should too. Let's talk about that. So the first one's cost. That is the most prominent, and that is the one that sticks out for most people and is important to most people. It's especially important when you're investing in equipment that does cost a lot of money up front. I do want to mention though, as I do in all my videos, is that you can put together a smaller system and then gradually add on to it. Modern systems are much more modular. And as you come into more funding, you can add those modular pieces to your system for more power for your home. And we've done just that to our original system. These 20 panels over here are from the original installation. These four panels down here are something we added later when we got a little bit more money and we will continue to add to this array. But the costs that I'm really talking about are the costs to have somebody else install your system for you. In some cases, 50% up to 80% more than the equipment will cost you in the first place. And you've got to watch out, friends. The solar industry has exploded so much over the last 10 years that now there's some predatory contractors out there. There's some predatory companies out there that are really just selling financial products and not the actual system itself. Uh, and they take advantage of a lot of people. So you have to do deep research before you ever hire a company to put in a solar system for you. And that's why I highly recommend that you do it yourself. And I wanna give you encouragement because before I put this system in, I really didn't know much about electricity or solar systems at all, but I did my research. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not dogging on every solar installer out there. There's some great ones out there like Engineer775. If you haven't seen his channel, he does a lot of great work. I think he's in North Carolina. But again, you have to watch out because solar installers will mark up equipment that they don't need to mark up. Now, a normal markup on equipment for a lot of contractors, whether you're building a house or whatever it is, is about 20 to 25% with the norm being 20%. But there are so many cases out there and so many instances out there of solar contractors marking equipment up 60, 70%, and in some really bad cases, 100%. And you know, if that's what they wanna do, that's fine. But you need to be an informed customer and research and shop for your own equipment. So that's something I recommend is for you to purchase your own equipment first and then have somebody else install it if you can't do it yourself, which I believe you can. Now, I don't fault these companies for charging a decent labor cost because they need to cover some pretty serious insurance because they are putting in electrical equipment and they are working on roofs most of the time. They also have to buy some pretty expensive equipment sometimes to put in say racking systems like the one that I have behind me. They've got to pay their employees, they've got to pay overhead, they've got to pay office charges, vehicle ch charges, all of that. So I totally understand where that comes from. However, there are many who are taking advantage of the situation right now and charging exorbitant amounts for something that you could do for a lot less. For our original system, we spent about $15,500, and that covered all of the equipment that I needed for the home. If I was to have somebody else do that for me, I could have paid about $40,000 with all of the labor and installation charges added onto that. And to pay that price, your payback time is going to be twice as long. Now, you have to factor in your own sweat equity and how much you think you should pay yourself or how much your time is worth when installing your own system. However, you can take just a few hours every day and slowly chip away at it over time. You don't need to have it immediate. We're always too focused on what we want right when we want it. So if you take a little bit of time and install it, it can be very beneficial to you and your pocketbook. Friends, if you've got a little bit of skill in the DIY world, you can certainly put these in yourselves. And I've done a series of videos on the installation of everything that we have. Check out this playlist right here for the installation videos on all of our systems on our homestead. I do wanna say that if you're uneasy working with electrical, you can 
just put in the racking, the panels, attach everything together, attach the inverters on the wall, move the batteries into place, put in the conduit, and do all of that and save the electrical work for a licensed electrician. Okay, let's talk about number two, and that is solar installation businesses have a huge failure rate. They go out of business all the time. And you don't know that that company that you've hired to install your system that you are relying on for service, you don't know how stable they are. In just the last quarter of 2023, 106 dealers and installers filed for bankruptcy in the United States. Just in that quarter, that's more solar companies that filed for bankruptcy in all of 2020, 2021, and 2022 combined. And two of the biggest solar companies in the country, Sunrun and Sunnova, took massive hits to their stock prices. Sunrun was down 86% and Sunnova down 81%. And what angers me a lot is Sonova received a $3 billion grant from the United States Department of Energy, and they've lost pretty much all of it. So before that, without that grant, their business was not solvent anyway. They lost taxpayer dollars. That's your dollars and my dollars. But as you can see, I'm a huge proponent of solar. I think it's a great tool for any one of you to use, but I want you to do it yourself. And if you're going to hire somebody, you need to check, double check, and vet them really well, that they will be around for a decent amount of time to help you with anything that you have that might go wrong with your system. Okay, reason number three, and that is a lot of states are pulling back their net metering programs. Now, solar was sold to a lot of people by telling them that they could reduce their electric bill. Even though they've put this expensive thing on the roof and in their house, their bill was still gonna be lowered, and that's because the state that they lived in was paying them for the power that they generated and put back into the grid. But unfortunately, friends, that was not 100% true. So certain places like California, which used to have a one-to-one -one net metering payback, which means if you sold one kilowatt back to them, it's the same cost as if you purchased one kilowatt from them. Now, if you sell one kilowatt back to them, it's one-fourth. You receive one-fourth of what you can buy it for from them. That is absolutely insane, especially if you were sold on the one-to-one -one not that many years ago. In more states, working with the local power companies are shutting down their net metering. So that savings to you is becoming less and less and less, and your payback is becoming more and more and more time. Okay, let's talk about the fourth and last reason, and that is if you install your system yourself, you have studied about how it works. You know how everything goes together. You've put it together with your own hands. You're intimately connected with it and you know what you need to do to fix it and how everything works. And that's valuable. That's valuable because you don't have to wait for a company that may not respond to you or may not be in business anymore to come out and repair anything that needs to be repaired. And when you purchase your own equipment like I did, and I'll talk about who I purchased mine from in a few minutes, you have the opportunity to talk with that supply company and ask them questions and get technical solutions and get technical advice on anything in your system that you did purchase from them. And usually those companies will have warranty programs attached to the equipment and the manufacturer will have warranties attached to the equipment where you can easily return or exchange that equipment. And that is not easily done with solar installation companies. Those companies are more focused on the installation and what they're making from the installation. And they lack severely on the service side or the technical support side. Now the company that we purchased our equipment from is close to us, about an hour and 45 minutes, give or take, and their name is Signature Solar. There are many reasons why I went with their company, not only because it's close, I can go pick up the equipment and not have to pay shipping charges. They had the brands that I was looking for initially when I did my research into my solar system. They also had 
a lot of stuff in stock in terms of panels and things like that. If you're interested in checking our equipment out, I have links to everything down in the description below the video. And I also have a $50 off coupon for you if you decide to buy from them through our links. So friends, those are the big four reasons why I recommend that you put in and install your own solar system. I know you can do it and I'm here to help. And there are a lot of great YouTube channels that I gained information from like Will Prouse and David Paz. They're very knowledgeable in helping everyone do their own solar system. Don't be intimidated by it, you can do it. If you have any questions for me, please leave them for me in the comments section below the video. Now go check out these videos right here, which is our series on our Victron install for our barn and our well. Have a beautiful blessed day. See you next time, bye.